What's going on, everybody? And in this week's lesson, we are going to check out another Tool song, one that we haven't done yet, surprisingly, right? And I've saw, or I've seen, that on the recent tour, leg of their tour, they're actually playing this song live, which is awesome because, you know, my day spent in a tribute band playing this stuff live, this was always my favorite song to play live. It has just such a high energy. It's short, it's sweet, and it's aggressive. So let's jump into Hooker with a Penis. Can I even say that on YouTube? Am I going to get in trouble for that? Who knows, right? Prophecy foretold. Um, we are in a drop D tuning, as usual. Uh, the tabs can be found going across the screen and down in the description below, and we will jump into it. Now, the beginning of the song starts off with this idea. And then the whole band kicks in, right? Now, to do that, I know there's an effect on the album. What I used to do live, you can try this out. Unfortunately, my Expression pedal is not here, so I can't control the wah on the device I'm using, which, by the way, is the new Quad Cortex from Neural DSP. You can actually get this um, sound preset on the Cortex Cloud. That link will be down in the description below. Um, so what I would recommend doing for this riff in the intro of the song is turning on your wah pedal, turn it all the way down to where the toe is down, fully open, right? And then slowly, gradually release the wah as you play through this riff over time. And then kick in with it. Right? That works really well. So we're basically 10, 12, right? 12, 10, 12. Right, so it's three, three, and then back, and you're gonna do a little bend. And then as you release the bend, let that tie over, and then continue the riff. Like that. And then the riff kicks in, right? That always reminded me like a, a Chili Peppers riff or some old kind of classic riff. 10 to 12, it's 10, 12, 12, but we're gonna hammer on. Attack 10, hammer on the 12, attack 12. Get that kind of group of three going on. Like that. And you do that four times. And then 10, 10, 12. Like that. Cool. So now we're going to switch to basically an octave melody here. And it's mass strumming, so it's kind of difficult to, to do it clean. I'm going to actually leave off any kind of delay or effects that you would normally if you were playing this live, just for kind of clarity's sake. We're basically playing octaves all in the fifth string from five, seven, three, the seven. That's kind of your phrase. Repeat that. And then jump up to 15. And then slowly kind of pull on those strings, pull those strings sharp, okay? So obviously that's not the rhythm. Again, what I like to do in this song is kind of imitate the snare accents. Right? Because the ga, 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 ga that's going on there. So as you're strumming, right? You're really just strumming those notes and fast, it's kind of tremolo, 30 second notes. Try to accent. Right? Try to put that accent into your so that is that intro melody and now we're right into the verse because i actually don't know what is actually going on or jones how actually he recorded the song or plays it live it's one of those kind of mysterious riffs right you're kind of i've seen it tabbed out online it's all on one string i don't like it so i'm just going to tell you how i play it and if you guys like that cool right we have this magical gift of the jambi technique 
right? The pull-off technique where I say play three. Right? Infamous from the Jambi song. And I do that here. That's how I play it. It fits rhythmically and it sounds really good. So I run with it and that's what I've been doing for years, okay? If that's not exactly what's going on, you know, you can do it differently, but this is how I do it, right? So you kind of go through that. So after you do the triplet, and then give me a quick open, then power chord on three. I think that works great. Um, you can do that, I think, four times, and then if you listen carefully, it sounds like there's an extra open note. And then we're right back in that section, and that's just a repeat of the original riff. Big open chord, and I'm trying to get down here to the open D5, O, 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 two, three. Nice big extended power chord there, right? And then you have the. That little segue riff where they bring that back and basically it's the triplet. Again, this is how I'm doing it. It works. And you continue the chugging on the, on the low D string. Like that. And then you can slowly lift the palm mute. And that kind of brings us into, I guess this is a chorus. 0 10 10 0 5 5 3 0. Now we're gonna go up. All right, three and five. So it's 10, five, three, then three, five. And that's kind of how you get out of that. And that's a tough little section to hear, all right? But yeah, that's that chorus riff, really fun to play. It's got that classic uh, syncopated riff that Tool does, that slight offbeat, which we just talked about in an Arch Echo lesson. Right, where you kind of have a quick muted note on the downbeat and then like the full accented chord is off the beat. Right, and just watch out for the ending because when we do this later, they put a staccato ending on it. But I guess we'll talk about that. So coming out of that, you have this. That riff, right? And again, really hard to hear. This is how I play it. I submit it to you humbly, right? I start off with the triplet into the chug. Hammer on three to five on the fifth string. Like that. And you do that twice and then just open all the way until you get back to the verse section. Right, and then we're kind of into that verse variation here. And again, triplets the same, do it everything the same. The only thing that changes, he starts having a longer stretch of open notes. And then doubles, double times that. And then we're back into that section. And it's the same thing as before. So I'm not gonna go through that whole chorus section again. Just watch out for the end of it because they do put staccato notes on it where it cuts off, cuts off the rhythm. Right, like that. So we're now we're gonna move into the next riff that happens four times with a variation of it the fourth time, and it's really just those notes are an octave up. That, right? 
right? So it's 0003. <laughs> And then six five five. I believe this is in eleven eight, the time series. And then the variation again. You're just hitting the three, five, and sixes up an octave, right? Fifteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Right? Power chord on 12 to the open and then you get into the kind of breakdowns of the song and it's a cool little chromatic riff 70605 like that you can pull on these notes a little bit have some fun with it and then play all those attacks or those opens pull-offs right And then we move into the solo section out of that, okay? So it's seven, oh, seven, six, oh, seven, six, five, oh, down the three, 10 and 12. You're gonna repeat that, but you're gonna stop on five and then transfer to the fifth string octaves on three, five, seven, okay? So. Right now here, it almost sounds like if it's double tracked, right? Where he's strumming one and really like a lot of 16th over strumming the next one. So I always like to play it with less strums. It just, it works well. Okay. And again, it just works because it gets a little messy sometimes with the with the string. Right? Let me put on some cool delay here. See what we got going for the solo, right? fun solo to play. Let me take the delay off that again now. Cool. So basically you move five, three, five, seven. On the sixth. Up to ten. And now you have this half step melody. And I personally like to cross string it. So I like to play 12 in the D. Eight on the D. And that's our melody and that, that little idea repeats. Right? And every time you repeat it, take the finger off of or release the G. Don't let that cross string. This way you kind of remove the dissonance for a second there. Give it a little bit of clarity. And then... Hold that first finger and then up the D string. Ring out, come down, fall back into the next spot. And essentially, it's basically the sixth riff again, but it's kind of really subtle, right? So I maybe instead of power chords, do single notes. Instead of opening it up, maybe muted. Then we have that oh three five seven, and here strum fast, okay. And then basically, as you play it, you're gonna pull the higher strings sharp, not obnoxiously, just enough to kind of change that pitch.
reminds me of an old classical piece where you know it almost sounds like a siren going off in the distance. And then you come out of that, and it's just chugs on the right. Dirty dollar, shut up, and then you have this awesome outro riff, which we this is the part of the only part of the song we covered a long time ago, and. You can kind of look at this as 10-8 and 13-8. If you look at the tabs going by on the screen, I've split it up even further than that just so you can see each one of the phrases that goes by, all right? So we have this. That's the first phrase, all right? Let me play the whole thing and then we'll break it down. Right? That's your riff. Now, again, I broke it up in the phrases. So it's 00012. 0351012. That's the main idea of this riff. Then you you do the same thing, but it's eight. Then you do 12 again. So those three sentences are the same, you're just changing that first note. Like that. And then we're gonna step up, we're gonna play 13 and 10. But here, the rhythm is longer, right? And there's an extra strum in there. Like that, and then the... That's the same, right? And that's where that extra note is. And then it takes you right to the outro. Which is the same riff as before, but then it sounds like it changes, and it sounds like he's doing octave. There you go. Tools, Hooker with a Penis. Really fun song to play. One of my favorite songs to play live. Short, sweet, highly energetic. Just makes you want to kick the person in the front row's teeth in. Just a great song to play. And it's super cool that they're playing it on the new tour. I have not seen this leg of the tour, but I know they're throwing in some old jams. They're playing Push It and Right In Two. Awesome. Anyway, down in the description below, you can find a link for the tabs. And as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then... I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.